Tonight at 10, Grieving Together, the family of Layla Peterson meets with the first responders who tried to save her young life. Both authorities and her loved ones are vowing to find her killer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Sims. The five-year-old was shot while in her grandparents' home. Michelle Fiore joins us live with an update outside of District 7 tonight. Hi, Shannon. Well, officers, including Chief Flynn, fought back tears today as they talked about the senseless shooting of Layla Peterson. The call to her home Thursday is one they won't soon forget. Tonight, two squad cars guard the neighborhood where little Layla Peterson used to play. A memorial of balloons, teddy bears, and candles has grown outside her grandparents' home that was riddled with bullets Thursday. We want to personally thank everyone for their outpouring of love, prayers, and support. Layla's family is asking for privacy during this difficult time. Please be kind and allow our family to have our personal space and that way we could grieve in our homes. But the family grieved publicly today with the first responders who helped them through those initial heartbreaking hours. The chief is vowing to keep Kayla's memory alive by keeping her picture in his pocket. I'm going to do one thing and I'm going to do it until those guys go to jail. And I'm going to have this baby right next to the pocket with my grandchildren. She's going to stay there. She's going to be in our hearts. No one's in custody for the fatal shooting, but police say they're continuing to search the neighborhood. Certainly there's been a thorough canvas already, but you never know. Somebody might not have been home. Somebody remembers something later. A family spokesman hopes Layla's legacy will be that people finally say enough is enough. No more marches. No more talk. We're going to go out and we're going to do something. The chief says they're considering more than one motive for this shooting. He wouldn't be specific, but he did say that mistaken identity is certainly a possibility. We're live outside District 7 tonight. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, Michelle. Well, Layla's family needs your help to pay for funeral expenses. They've set up a Go Give Forward campaign online, and if you would like to donate, we have provided a link on our website at TMJ4.com. A fundraising event is already in the works for the family. It's being held at a place in Minami Falls on Saturday, November 29th. Organizers are looking for donations for this silent auction.